Welcome to our lecture online, and before we get into the topic of calorimetry, let's get familiar with the equation Q equals mc delta t. Now, Q being positive typically means that you're adding heat to the substance. Q being negative typically means that you're taking heat away from a substance. So that's the general rule. So here we're saying Q equals mc delta t, which means that if we add heat to a substance, that, that uh, a certain amount of mass of the substance, which has a certain specific heat, the temperature will change by a delta T. So let's say that if we have a bucket of water, two kilograms of water starting at 20 degrees centigrade, and we add 50,000 joules of heat to the bucket of water, what will be the final temperature? And let's ignore the specific heat of the bucket and the change in the, the temperature of the bucket. Let's say it's a wooden bucket, a, a wooden pail, and it's insignificant to the whole equation, what would be the final temperature of the water? And so we have Q equals mc delta t. So Q equals mc delta t. And of course, delta t is t final minus t initial. So we can write that Q is equal to mc times t final minus t initial. And of course, what we're looking then for is t final. All right, so the first thing we want to do is divide both sides by mc. So we have q divided by mc is equal to t final minus t initial. And of course, when we bring the t initial over the other side, then we can write this equation as t final is equal to q divided by mc plus the t initial. When we bring the t initial over, it becomes positive. All right, so now we have to just plug in the numbers and see what we get. So the amount of heat that we add is 50,000 joules, and it's a positive 50,000 joules because we're adding heat. The mass of the water was given us 2 kilograms, and the specific heat of water, if you remember, was 4,186 joules per kilogram per centigrade degree. All right, so um, we have kilograms that cancel out joules that cancel out, and we have 1 over centigrade degree in the denominator, which turns it into centigrade degrees in the numerator. All right, so uh, we have 50,000 divided by 2 and divided by 4186 equals 5.97 uh, degrees centigrade, or centigrade degrees. That's centigrade degrees for the change in the temperature plus the original, which was 20 uh, degrees centigrade, and of course, if you add 5.97 degrees to that, you get 25.97 degrees centigrade. And that would then be the final temperature of the water after adding 50,000 joules of energy. And that's how you use that equation. So now that you're familiar with that, we can go on and try to do some, um, some calorimetry type problems where we add heat or take away heat with different substances and try to find the specific heat of substances and try to figure out how much the temperature changes for water and so forth. So that will be in the future, but at least now you have a pretty good understanding how to use this equation, heat equals mc delta t.